team. It was more last night. It was my time, and that was the a whole own it principle about, um, you know, there's going to be a game on September 12th. There's going to be a lot of things happen, and it's all our responsibility and their responsibility. There's a big saying around here, 10 strong, and there's 10 units on a team, and own your unit. Don't worry if I'm a linebacker unit. Don't worry about the corner unit. Make sure we take care of the linebacker unit. So individual, unit, team, own it. That's you. Don't make excuses. And it seems like this whole world's full of excuses right now. No excuses. Take care of your bodies. Training camp's hard. We have a great uh, sports performance model. Use it. If you don't use it, that's on you. So be a be a pro. Yeah, they're good. We did a conditioning test. Everybody passed it. Wasn't overly difficult, but uh, you know, and my message back in uh, whenever that was June is, if I'm worried about conditioning tests, we really don't need to practice much because we're going to get our ass kicked in. So they they were good. Yeah. How do you approach that? Well, I got vaccinated, and I didn't get vaccinated because someone told me to. I don't do that. I got vaccinated because I did a deep dive and educated myself. And the doctor that I've known for a long time said, get vaccinated. Uh, and I'm taking the same approach with the players and making sure that we educate them, present, and ultimately it's their choice. But how do you make choices in life? You educate them and give them the, the truth. So I believe they should be vaccinated, but I'm not a doctor. But we presented that to them several times. What is your level of concern about the numbers on your team right now? Sure. Yeah, we're up over 80% now, so uh, I'm monitoring that. Uh, and we have some very good doctors that will visit with the players that are not experts at it. Would anything less than 100 be a disappointment to you? Oh, I don't know if disappointment because I guess I just respect people's choice. So uh, we're doing our best. Education is the key. Urban Minshew with the ones, Trevor with the twos, is that going to flip flop Rotate, everything? they rotate a day, and then uh, CJ had a decent day today, so it's a long process. Uh, but uh, today was Gardner and Trevor at one, and then uh, tomorrow I think will be a little different. Coach, what do you see, what's Shaq Griffin's best leadership qualities out there? I love Shaq Griffin. Uh, his energy for practice, you know, I just think there's takers and there's givers, you know, takers, the people that you have to constantly motivate. I've said that for years. Great players you prepare. Average players you have to motivate all the time. Shaq, I've never, he loves the game, he loves to practice. You talked about how the, the interview process for free agency was different. You know, you didn't get as much face time as you wanted to, but with a guy like Shaq, None. was that not a, yeah, was it, but with a guy like Shaq, was that not really a Boy, we hit it out of the park, man. I mean, uh, Roy, uh, and I'm not talking about, we still to be determined, but you start talking about Ray, uh, Ray Jenkins, Shaq, Marvin Jones, Roy, Carlos. I know there's uh, Dorsett. Um, I, I apologize. Man hurts. I mean, plus, 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 plus. So we, we did good. We did a, a lot of that was a deep dive by our coaching staff, Trent, his staff, and me personally calling people. Because once again, you couldn't meet with them. But we, we did. I like those guys. Those are good. I haven't had many bad first days. We have a bad first day. <laughs> Ask me day 12. Hey, we'll see how it goes. Hey, Urban, you talked about learning curve for yourself, getting a tackle. I mean, was the oh, fine during OTAs? Is that part of the, the learning process? And that's a yeah. pretty hefty. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I went, you know, I want to know what, what, what was it? I actually thought we did a heck of a job. We gave them uh, every third day off. We, uh, you know, we had full attendance, so we, we had a little different, you know, very proud of our guys. They love the sports performance model. And they sent us eight plays. Uh, and the eight plays were defenders going after a ball. But I want to say three times through, you know, incidental contact. The other times were. So the adjustments we made, no press coverage right now. It was all off. And the deep really just, that's where most of the stuff was. So you talked earlier. Really challenging of DJ Chark this offseason to gain more weight. How have you seen him respond now four months later as we step out here for day one of training camp? DJ's great. He wants to, you know, I heard that. Someone said, how can you, you're challenging him. I mean, that's that's daily. That's part of a coach's job. So uh, there's zero resistance. And if, you know, that's something that can make him better. 
and he's worked hard at it. He looks great. His body looks great. His strength has really improved. So. You talked earlier, very early on in your tenure, about you can't miss uh, on this. Uh, based on your experience, Five months. Do you, do you think that this team is going to fulfill that? Yeah, it's early. I think you evaluate each phase. Phase one, and then phase two. Uh, you know, that's early on. Uh, the number one thing I wanted to make sure we got done is the player safety and health. And I don't feel good about it. I feel great about it. Um, Shad Khan was uh, uh, good enough to give us what we need. We we built a whole brand new rejuvenation room for our players that was not here. That involves a cryo float tank, uh, cocoon, and uh, infrared, and that's. And then we also made our trainers. I don't. We don't say trainers anymore. We say experts. So, taping ankles doesn't make you a trainer. Becoming an expert at deep tissue cupping, uh, acupuncture or dry needling they call it. So it's full of experts now in there, and uh, that part was a A plus. Uh, now, there's only one thing, as I told our players, one thing worse than not having that stuff is not using it. So it goes back to the own it. Take care of yourself, man. This is uh, it's going to be a long journey here. So I like where we're at, but we all know we've got a long way to go. Thanks, Coach. Let's go. we got to go get players. You got one? Yeah. Did you get a lot of pushback or complaints from the, the DBs about you no know, press coverage, not going after balls No, because they saw the fine and they're, I think, the same reaction the player. A lot of them said they thought we had a great off season. And what was that fine? And then I showed them, the, we actually showed them the eight plays that they sent us. And there's, to be honest with you, about four of them, you're like, you know. But rules are rules, and so we're going to follow the rules.